Are you probably thinking to yourself, what the hell is he doing on this early? What the hell is Greg doing on so early? Well, I don't know. I just decided to, that now's a good time to do this here Hindenburg. So I bought this thing yesterday and um, it's got some very, very good things about it. And it's also got some very, well, things that need a little bit of work. But this is your first time here. Welcome. Welcome to the All About Aviation channel. My name is Greg. I'm a internet pilot as often as I can be. Please subscribe. Please click that like button. And uh, yeah, man, let's let's uh, let's let's look at a couple of things. Let me get let me get this a little bit set up here. My keyboard over here, even though I don't really use it a whole lot on the Hindenburg, but still, it's, it's still useful. All right, and oh, it looks like I might be dropping some frames. That's not good. I definitely need a new computer. That's for sure. All right. So this thing just got launched. And it's pretty good overall. It, it's a definite, definite learning curve. Now, it comes with all these liveries here, right? Original, Graph 2, Peter Strauss. Some of these are... Um, not real liveries, you know, like uh, like the Red Wing one. I I'm going to show you that one in particular first because that one's got a huge issue that uh, they can. Red Wing confirmed uh, this morning that it's a bug with uh, Xbox. So I don't know if it's a bug on PC, but I know it's a bug on Xbox. So let me show you this one first, and then uh, we will jump into the one that we're actually going to do the review on. But let me show you this first. Yeah, boy. It's a pretty wild, pretty wild thing, this, uh, this Hindenburg, man. It's, it's kind of fun to fly, actually. Uh, once you get used to, you know, well, we'll get into it. I don't want to, I don't want to jump too far down to, down the road first. Let's go ahead and let this, this thing load, and hopefully the, hopefully the, the sim doesn't crash. It's been crashing a little bit, loading this, uh, loading this thing in. It's very hit or miss. Sometimes it crashes, sometimes it uh, it works just fine. All right. We got this big old mamma jamma. Now, the thing I want to show you, so it comes with this tablet on the Red Wing livery. However, we cannot interface with this tablet because of this, this glitchiness here, right? So, so it's not usable. Same thing with this here. And this is like, you know, I mean, you need both of these with this livery to fly it. Um, but this particular livery has an issue. Red Wing is aware of it. They said they're working on it. Uh, I don't know of any other liveries that have this tablet. So I'm really hoping to get it fixed because, like, I want to use it. It looks really cool. But, uh, but we can't use it. So the other liveries, from what I see, are fine. Ooh, my batteries are low. Sweet. Good thing I have another battery. All right, let's... Uh, so I wanted to show you that first. So, yeah. When I get an update from Red Wing on when it uh, will be fixed, you know, I'll certainly let everyone know. But uh, as it stands right now, I don't, I don't have a time frame because I did not receive a time frame. So let's go ahead and... Let me turn my controller back on. All right, so we're actually going to go... We're just going to stick with the original. And we're going to go to KNL, because this is the only airport I'm aware of that has a certain feature. Which I will show you. All right, KNL, and it's probably best to choose. Which one did I choose last time? Ramp 33. And let's make it. I do have live weather turned off. I have photogrammetry turned off. Yeah. 
I may turn some of those back on later, but not right now. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and click fly. Let me charge up this other battery here. So nice having an extra rechargeable battery on this here controller. All right, let's plug it into the 2.1 amp. It's charging. <sighs> okay, Lakehurst. Now let's come over here and click on cold start. And make sure everything is off. Okay. So this mooring right here, this nose cone, this is the only airport I'm aware of in the whole simulator that actually has this. So um, when you uh, when you go to Red Wings page, uh, or when you buy the airplane, uh, it gives you a QR code to scan and it brings you to Red Wings page to uh, download. It's like a 150 page PDF. And in there it says, KNL. Um, however, there might be other KNL where we're at now. There might be other airports that you could do it at. I'm not aware of them. But in order to get that to show up, you need to have 3D, 3D packs turned on. FX is for like smoke and stuff like that. So, all right. So this here uh, clipboard is like everything. Like you like you really need to use it completely. Uh, that's really the only way to fly uh, and do things here. They have an easy mode, normal mode, and realistic. Uh, they all do different things. You know, easy mode makes it to where you don't really need to interact with much. Taking off way easier. Uh, you know, the ballast is much easier to, uh, to even out and to gain lift. And realistic mode is obviously realistic. I mean, it's uh, I do have some issues with realistic mode, which I'll, I'll get into here momentarily. The ballast is over here. And these needles on the end here are supposed to be even at some point. I've never been able to get them to even out. The ballast tanks are here. You know, the red indicates how full or how empty the ballast is. Red is for emergencies only. That'll drop 500, you know, pounds of ballast, uh, you know, right away. Yellow is for fuel, and black is the water ballasts. Okay. So, over on this section here, it has your elevator lift. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, your speed, uh, the ho and messer. The, I know the ho meter is the, the, the ho meter is for speed. Uh, this has like your vertical speed, and this down here is like altitude versus real altitude. So some of these things you can't interact with. When we go to land, we're going to be plug pulling on these levers here that releases the hydrogen gas inside the uh, inside the balloon to lower us down a bit and the autopilot is the autopilot quote unquote is here the echolot we got to turn that on this gives us our height the red needle is the height that we want to go to and the white needle is the actual height that we are at let's go in the very back here very back is, is another area where you can kind of go and watch it's got this gyro uh, dealer. Actually, you know what? Let me turn on the. Uh, hang on. Let me turn on uh, that set of controls where it like shows what all the buttons and stuff do. Uh, and I guess we'll do a description. And yeah, we'll just turn all three of them on. I think this will come in more handy because that way it'll it'll say it. And some of this stuff's written in German, so I don't, you know, I don't know it. 
but this turns on the light the gyro on and off it really just turns the light on now supposedly it's the navigators table supposedly we can interact with hey look at that so these alcohol bottles you use to calculate your height there's really no reason to do it yet because we're not in the air pull that out to help draw in our maps and supposedly one of these drawers opens up and gives us a map oh yeah look at that Atlantic and US maps Europe and Middle East wow look at that no shit and this is new to me I didn't know it had this Wow, look at that. That is cool. I don't know if we can interact. Huh, that is interesting. Yeah, I don't see a way to. I have nothing to draw. Huh. That is cool. Hey, what's up, Frank? We here early. We here early today. Let me look at their uh, manual real quick. I don't. I don't think there's a, really a way to interact with this map. I mean, it did say nothing to draw, but maybe we need a route plugged in. Actually, <laughs> that's interesting. All right, clean last map. Let me. Uh, let me see here. Let me go to, let me type in map and see see what happens here. Maybe we need actually need to do an actual route and see what happens. Uh, let's see here. Telegraph, water coolant, radio antennas. I know I saw it towards the bottom of the. Uh, Morse code. Uh, and mooring system. Okay, here we go. Uh, open one of the map drawers we place on the desktop. Use black pen to show or hide the map. Okay, use sextant to ask the radio for position and report. Then use compass to draw your position. Data is transcribed on the right hand of the map. Use the, oh, we gotta be up in the air, it looks like. Okay, all right, well, that kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. All right, let's uh, continue the tour here. Momentarily, I just need to grab something, man. Sure, no problem. I got you. Let me get everything turned on. Let me let me get everything turned on. One second, my dude. Yeah. Well, actually, I'll hold off on turning. Well, actually, you know what? I think I do need to turn some stuff on first. Hang on. Let's click. Uh, let's give them the orders for all on. Actually, you know what? Let me turn up the volume. Give me a second. That way you guys can hear the voices. All right. Let's give it order for all on. Getting started, Getting started, please. please. And now the chief electrician's turning on all the electrical systems.
won't see any lights yet, but that might change. Let's get a little deeper into it. Getting started, Getting started please. please. So I want this clipboard. It's kind of like the Constellation. However, it's not as uh, it's not as user friendly. So, like on the constellation, you could like click on these states here in yellow, and it would change things for you. It doesn't do that here. Each person has their own checklist. The watch officer, he's really the one that gives like a lot of the commands. He's got his own checklist, the rudder man, the elevator man, the head cook, the chief steward, who we're going to talk to in a second so he can uh, have everybody board the flight. Got the chief engineer, chief navigator, chief rigger, chief electrician, chief radio, and the mechanic. So there's a premium mode with this if we click on career. Uh, they, uh, they being Red Wings, confirmed that their uh, the premium mode is on the way for Xbox. It's not working right now. So uh, right now, a lot of these premium features, uh, missions, training, things like that, it's not going to work. Uh, so I don't know when it's going to be available, but part of that is also this like being able to change the loadout, we're not going to be able to do that. So we're kind of stuck with 50 passengers, you know, a long haul flight, you know, now, I mean, we can change things as we're flying, we can release fuel and all that, uh, you know, to change, to change the payload. We can't change the passengers though, or anything like that. Now this status page is pretty interesting. So we can click on any of these targets and it takes us to it. So like if we wanted to go to the bar, let's click on that. Now we got the bar. Now you can't really move. You can turn side to side, but you can't really like go anywhere and you can't like, you know, travel around in there. They have uh, now some of the, like if we go to the electric room, There are things we can interact with here. Picking up this clipboard, we can't actually like, you can't pick it up and bring it over to you. So you're gonna have to, like if you did want to try to use it, you're gonna have to like zoom in, if it allows you. It's not allowing me to zoom in right now. So anyways, I would, I would presume in like realistic mode, you'd have to go into each one of these rooms and do the job of that person. You know, I guess realistic mode, like if you do that, it would you turn off a lot of the AI features. So I thought that was pretty interesting that you can go into each one of the rooms and all that. So I don't really see. Oh, yeah. You know what? Lights are down here. Hang on. Let me see if I can turn on some lights. Uh, let's see here. Hefner light on. That's landing gear right here. Front half and rear. I don't really, I don't really see any into. Oh, here's an interior light here. I wonder how we turn that on. Because I would like to try to fly this a little bit in the dark, but uh, let's see here. All right, I know this light switch, they do the actual thing here. Let's see if this is a light switch. Right, radio. There we go. I wonder if that turned the light on. Let me see. There we go. Now we're lit up at nighttime. Very good. 
All right, so after we do the all on, we need to load the passengers. So let's come down to orders. We're gonna go to the chief steward. Hey, what's up, Frank? What's up, I mean, <laughs> sorry about that. What's up, Greece? Man, it's kind of weird seeing you in the daytime. Got the, the usual gang is all here. I thought I'd pull the okie doke on you guys. You guys are all here. Let me get to the... Yeah, no problem. I got you. Let me just get to this one page that I'm trying to get to. There we go. All right. Yeah, let me... Um... I don't think we can travel around. Let me go into... Um... Let's go into drone mode. Where the hell is this thing at? That's right here. Let me, drone mode may be easier to go in and out of everything. No, no zombies on the Hindenburg, that's for sure. All right, this looks like the dining area. Now, we can't interact with anything in here, even if we were not in this mode, like... That looks like the hotels for Planet Coaster. All right, let's see. I guess this is one of the gas chambers. Actually, let me do it a different way. Let me uh, get out of this mode. And we'll just click on the... Um, let's click on the actual... The different pages here. Alright, we'll just go down, down the line. Let's go... Radio room. There's the radio room. Everything lit up. It would be nice, like I said again, if we could actually like bring these clipboards up to us, but there's no way to do that, and there's really no way to zoom in and out, so. Yeah, you can interact with uh, parts of the interior. Yeah. That is true. But a lot of those features... Uh, from what I understand, like you need the premium version to do that. And the premium version is not available on Xbox just yet. So I was chatting on Discord with Red Wing earlier today because I had some issues with some of the stuff. And um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of that you need the premium mode to do. Because like, I don't see how to walk around from here. Like, there's really no way to get out of the gondola. Oh, look, Franz is sleeping. Motherfucker. Actually, let's close this door up. Got nice shoes. Yeah, I mean, you can interact with some things, but... Alright, let's see what the kitchen looks like. I mean, we can interact with things while we're in here. We just can't walk around. Yeah, there is. It's on, uh, I believe it's on the outside. But I can't walk to it. Like, I can't really leave this, this area. Oh, wait a minute. There's a ladder here. Let's see if this works.
Oh, wait a minute. Greece is usually right. Well, you know what? Maybe you're right, Greece. Man, I'm glad you joined today. I would look more more of an idiot than I already do. All right. Battery, radio tower. You know what? I've I've been in it. It actually looks really cool. But the blue and all that shit look kind of futuristic. I've uh, been in this Hindenburg a lot over the last, like, 24 hours. And uh, I had no idea that ladder was there actually radio radio volume clipboards more radio this might be the stored here it's like he's stamping shit, or is this the radio guy? I think. You no, know, it's got like a mailbag there. Maybe this is. Yeah, this must be the radio guy. Thanks, Grease. I think these are for the ropes for the moorings. Light on, light off. Telephone. I'm kind of stuck here. That might be as far as I can go. I'm trying to move and it's not really letting me go anywhere. Let me go back to the cockpit. Let me try this again. I kind of got hung up there. I mean, now that we can walk around, I, I really had no clue that you could do that. I didn't even know this was a thing until yesterday. Like, I had no idea that Red Wing had this until yesterday. Like, I haven't seen anything on it, on any videos or anything. All right, let's go. All right, we just walked that way. Let's go this way. Yeah. I'm trying not to get stuck. This guy is like walking super slow. That's cool. I had no idea you could walk through this, man. Thanks for saying saying something. I watched one little video on this earlier today that Red Wing put up. Uh, and the guy was so, so soft-spoken that I couldn't, like, really understand what he was saying. And the captions weren't really any help either, so. Alright, this looks like it's about as far as I can go here. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what I'm getting stuck on. I shouldn't be getting stuck on things. There's no doors to open that I know of. It's just the uh, the door for the for the passengers. Okay, well that makes sense. Why why would I get stuck when there's nothing in front of me, but I can just go through bars? <laughs> that makes that makes a lot of sense, Red Wing. Good job. All right, now I think I'm officially, let me see here. Let me see.
All right. Come on. Looks like luggage. What room is this? <laughs> I wonder if they really had a skull like that in real life. Oh, this is the electric room. Okay. Jesus, these controls, man. reach the end. Nope. Every time I say that, I can go deeper. Who doesn't like it deep, you know what I mean? Come on. Come on, Bessie! Alright, I think... Yeah, I'm getting real stuck now. Alright, let's go back. Let me go into, uh, back into drone mode. All right, these are probably the stairs that people walk up. There should be a piano. Yep, there's the piano, because we can actually choose piano service. Now, from what I read, that's a specially designed piano uh, just for the Hindenburg. It was made of, like, lightweight materials and shit. Actually, let's load up our passengers, actually. Let's, uh... Let's... And then we'll go back over there and see if we can see the people boarding up. Uh, we need to go to orders. We need to go to the chief steward. And we need to click on stairs. And light. And click on boarding. Start boarding, boarding please. Roger. Starting boarding. You can expedite it. And then there's also a passenger list. Now, supposedly, in the premium version, you can actually, like, click on the names of the passenger list, and it, like, gives you info about them and, you know, like, like who they are and stuff. It's kind of kind of nice, actually. Um, but yeah, so that's, but that's not on this version. The premium version hasn't been released yet. Okay, here's the stairs and the light. Go through that door, maybe. All right, here's where we were a few minutes ago. Here's another ladder. Where did that room go before that had the... Oh, here it is. Oh, look, it's got people on board now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, Red Wing does make some cool shit. That's for sure. Yeah, I hope that painter's not on board either. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, you know, there's another version of this Hindenburg that they have, which uh, is not going to be functional for a while. There's a version with their own livery that has a tablet over here, and that's not working. All right, well, let's put the lights back on outside. We're almost done loading our passengers. Piano recital we can't start up until they're all on board. And then you have these up here, like these, these hearts. So as the flight drags on, these hearts will eventually get red, and then you can send them to rest. So, after boarding, we're going to ask for a report, click takeoff. We have to release the moorings, release some ballast. Yeah, I hope so, with the walk-in mode. Yeah, it, you know, I don't know why it gets stuck so much. You know, it'd, it'd be nice if it didn't. Uh, you can turn off the 3D for these guys, but if you do that, we don't have the nose the nose cone anymore if we do that. So and this is the only airport I'm aware of in the whole simulator that has the nose cone. Like, there's none in Germany. This is in New York. Lakehurst, New York. K-N-E-L. All right, so let's see here. Boarding. We'll hear a bell once they're done boarding. Boarding finished, sir. Okay, let's turn the light off. Let's close the stairs. Now we'll go to the watch officer page. We're going to click get ready for takeoff. Prepare for takeoff. Roger, all crew to takeoff station. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. And now we're going to ask for a report. Nothing to report. Everything, Everything works, works normally. normally. Please give me a general report. Everything, Everything is, in, is order. in order. All is okay. okay. Come on, guys. Everything is in order. No problem, no problem sir. sir. What? I, in, the engineer officer sound like I woke him up. All right, now we got to go to the chief radio officer, and now we got to ask for takeoff. Let's get the megaphone ready. It's 
typing in Morse code, it sounds like, to Gotta wait for this symbol to go away. And we're gonna use this order page down here to cast off the moorings. Well, we could do it one by one as well. All right, everything's good there. All right, let's go to the main page. Now, let's call the electrician. The telephone is out of order. Notify the electrician. Chief Riggers, Roger, out. All right, and let's, well, we can cast off all at one time, but I don't really want to do that. So let's go ahead and release the, the front nose cone. Release the front cone. Roger. Let's wait for that to finish up. Roger. Let's release the, uh, raise the rear. All right, what we're gonna do is, well, I guess we can just cast off all, all moorings. You can do one at a time, but let's just cast them all off. Release mooring. Copy. 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 That's going to release all of them. At least it should. Yep, yeah, they're releasing now. One by one, we can see them flashing. And we need to raise the ballast in the front to start gaining some altitude. So let's do that. Let's pull this a few times so we can start gaining some altitude. So we can clear the uh, we can clear the uh, what's it called the nose cone there. All right, pull up all the ropes. Hold up the front cone cable. Roger. Pull up the ropes. Hold up the moving. Roger. 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 Let's gain a little bit more height. We can actually see the water shooting out, I think, as well when we do this. Let's see here. Oh yeah, you can see it up in the top top right corner. We can see the water opening up and spraying out. All right, now that we're gaining a little bit of height, let's turn on engines. Well, here, let's put this away, actually. No, bitch, that's Roger. not what I chose. Fuck you. Thank you. Roger. All right, let's turn on engines one and four.
let's release some more ballast so we can continue to raise up in the air. Let's go ahead and turn on two and four. Let's come back here. Let's turn on the Echolot. And let's turn this up to, let's say, like 200 meters, I guess. And remember, the white's our actual altitude. The red is where we want to get to. All right, we got to release some more some more water. Now let's release ballast on all of them. We do the one in the front at first to try to get the nose to clear the the nose cone. See if we can raise up our throttle a bit. That's all good. Let's continue to raise our ballast. Well, now emergency does 500 at one time. So there's four in the front and I think four in the rear, I think. But we're just releasing water right now. We don't wanna, I don't wanna do anything with fuel yet. I usually pull these a couple of times. And let's come here. Let's put on the light. Oh, we got to put the landing gear up. Forgot about that. It'll raise the landing gear. Let's adjust our direction a little bit. And what are we heading in southwest right now? So let's continue that. Follow the heading. And we need to raise some more about Well, actually, 500 is a pretty good altitude for this. Let's leave it at 500. Let's click uh, cruise. All crew on cruise station. All crew to cruise station. Yep. Yeah. That's a complete balloon.
normal speed, lock the trim. And we should be following this heading. That I'm not sure why we're turning in circles. Let me. Uh, he's on follow heading. Hey, he needs to manage the route. Ah, that might be part of the problem. Why did the generator turn off? certain engines on, that's why we're not turning. Yeah, we have one engine off. I wonder what engine that is. That's one for hmm. Well, let's see here. So it's on the right side. I wonder if that's engine. engine four. That's got to be engine two then. Well, I'm sorry, not engine three. It's got to be engine one. Try to then. Nope, not engine two. So maybe that's engine four.
maybe we can do this a different way. Let's click on all. Let's see if that does anything. Status. Engineer room. zoom in otherwise I try to see if I can figure it out here Let me see if I can look at the maybe it'll say in the documentation what engine is that Come on, camera. Still not on. Uh, uh. Right, let's go back to manual. Let's go one by one again. All right, so it's not number one. Let's try number three again.
I don't know why the drone mode doesn't follow it. You know, all the times I've started this thing up, I've never had it where one of the engines didn't turn on. That was weird. Now, once that engine turns on, it'll actually follow the direction we have set. But right now it can't because it's being pushed continually to the right because that engine hasn't turned on yet. But I'm hoping it's on now. engine has still not turned on. It's weird. All right, let me rest. I'm going to restart actually. Let's restart. That is very weird. It's pretty fun to fly, actually. Like, once we get up in the air and shit, like... All right, let's do this one more again. All right, let's do cold start again. Put AI on for the captain. Let's go. All systems on. Getting, Getting started, started, please. please. All right, let's go to the store. Have him load up all the people. Start boarding, please. please. Watch out. Watch out. Starting boarding. boarding. <laughs> yeah. I'm not feeling too well if I don't restart at least one time. It's not one of my streams unless we restart. All right, let's expedite the passengers. Like, I was looking through the, the booklet that came with this, and I just don't see what engine that was. I don't know if it's one, two, three, or four. Like, I don't see anything in here that shows what engine that is. Yeah, we always got to restart at least once, you know? That's just how we are. You know, I try to keep it real, you know, like what, what we would do if we were really playing this game. Like, if we were really playing, like, we wouldn't want to fly with just three engines. We want to make sure all the engines work. Let's see if it's down here on these other pages. All right, fuel system. Electric system. More pictures, more pictures. Do any of these pictures actually show what engine is what? I don't think they do. Why would they want, th like, why would they do that? Like, why would they just, why would they not want to show us what engines are what? Like, who cares? It's only four engines. Like, you know, I got to think it's either three or four because that's like how it is in an airplane. I mean, in an airplane, engines three and four are on the, are on that side. All right, 
let's go. Hang on, let me scroll up a little bit to the right page here. All right, let's go ahead. We can close this. We can close this. We can have everybody get ready for takeoff. Prepare for, Prepare for takeoff. takeoff. Roger, all crew to takeoff station. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. Oh, you know what? I might have just figured it out. Maybe engine one is on the left, and engine three is on the right. That might be it. All right, let's get our takeoff clearance. Let's get a report going. Please give Please me a give general, me a general report. report. Nothing to report. Everything works normally. Everything, Everything is in order. is in order. All is okay. Everything is in order. No problem, no problem sir. sir. Let's come back here. Let's get our map out. That's Europe. That's France and UK, that's Germany maps. Eastern US. And let's get out our sextant. Let's turn on all our lights. All right. Ask for takeoff is good. Let's go here to... Actually, let me make sure everybody's good. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. All right. Let's release uh, some moorings. The telephone is out of order. Notify the electricians. Chief Riggers Roger, out. All right, let's release the front and rear nose cone. Release the front cone. Roger. There's no rear cone, so we don't need to worry about that. Cable. Roger. Roger. That'll do the back as well. Let's pull up the front. Cast off the front moorings. Roger. Let's release our a little bit of ballast just so we can start raising our nose a little bit and let's cast off the rest of the moorings.
Hello. Cast of the Central Bureaus. Cast of the Rear Bureaus. Roger. 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 All right, the mooring sign is gone. Let's continue to raise our nose up a little bit. Let's pull up all the ropes. Hold up the moorings. Roger. 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 Let's release some more ballast. We can actually see the water coming out, actually, I believe, still. Let's see here. Yep. Let's release a little bit of ballast all the way around, and then we'll turn the engines on. All right, let me make sure that we're still in manual. Yep. All right, so let's do engines one and four. Let's continue to adjust our ballast. Put them on slow. Let's go engines number two and three now. Let's come back here. Let's turn on the echo lot, which is kind of like the autopilot. And let's set our, let's do like 200 meters. And now let's put this on slow. And let's continue to release a little bit of ballast. All right, let's move everybody up to half. And let's go ahead now and try to follow up. All right, so 500, that's a pretty good altitude there. Let's click on cruise. All crew on cruise station. All crew to cruise station. And now let's try to follow this heading here on Southwest and see what happens. We are picking up speed.
All right, we are almost at 200 meters. That's not too far off. The red is where we wanted to be, but white is where we actually are. Now, last night I got this thing to follow the actual path. I'm not sure why it's not doing it today. Anyway, let's turn this off. And let's use this to turn. Oh, the gear's not up. That might have something to do with it. All right, let's see if it'll do it now. It's interesting. I had it working pretty well yesterday. It's everybody on AI, let me see. Yeah, everybody's on AI. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Let's actually go full.
This is definitely a confusing... This is a little confusing to fly, to be honest. Like, you know what? If this thing doesn't work on this, it wouldn't surprise me. Because this doesn't work, this follow heading thing. This doesn't work on the Constellation either. The people, <laughs> Red Wing, their actual answer to me was... There's many other ways to fly the constellation without using follow heading. That was pretty much their answer to me. Oh yeah, I figured you fell asleep. We were like, where's Greece? Where'd he go? All right, let's see if it follows this course here. Yeah, we kind of figured that out yesterday. All right, let's come back here. See if we can plot our course a little bit. I don't know. Maybe see what we can do. What the hell happened to the, uh, the map? Oh, right, that puts it away. That's weird. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I almost fell asleep too last night. It's okay. Nothing to draw. see how to interact with this map like it says in the booklet to use the black pen but all right clean up last map points oh shit we're really over speeding I think he's dead. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we're not turning. Maybe we're not going Warning. because there's Warning. no navigator. Dangerously upwards. Warning. We are tilting dangerously upwards. All right. Well, let's release a little gas then.
Warning, we are tilting dangerously upwards. Okay, I got you, bud. Uh, maybe I need to release rear ballast, maybe. Yeah, I, you know what? This thing, I don't know if it's really ready to be to be like completely Morning. played we with are yet. Tilting dangerously upwards. Like, there's a lot of things on here that should work that don't, and I think that kind of stops this from really being like super fun to play. Like, it's fun to kind of just mess around we are with. Tilting dangerously upwards. Warning, we are tilting dangerously upwards. But overall, it's a it's a pretty it's pretty fun to fly. I just wish that certain things worked the way they should. Like this elevator man, he should kind of be keeping us level. That's his job. It's on AI. Let's get some drinks served. And get some drinks for the crew. All right, we're even now, but we're kind of sinking. That's not a problem. Let's go ahead and just remove some ballast. I could turn this thing. Let me turn off the 3D stuff. I don't. That. Let's turn off the 3D. We don't need that anymore. Can I turn this on my own now? Start head back to the uh I like to find a place to land. Oh I, I I'll give it time. I'm not upset. I'm not upset that it's not working a hundred percent. I'm just saying like there's a lot of features that really don't work as they should that, you know, once it's finally working, it'll be nice. Oh no, I'm not upset. I just, you know, it, it it's more of a selfish statement when I say that because it makes it look like, like I don't know what I'm doing. Let's put these back at half again. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I I like flying this a lot, and I think, you know, as time goes on, I'll, I'll get better with it, but, like, the heading feature, like, you know, I know that doesn't work in the Constellation, so I'm, I'm really not surprised that it doesn't work here as well. But it would be nice if it worked, but it's not something that I'm really surprised, but, you know, surprised with. You know, like, I shouldn't be, like, having to turn this on my own. We had it. We had it set for him to follow the heading, and he just wasn't doing anything. I'm going to try to turn back around and go back to the airport. What up, New York? I'm back. Did you miss me? Yeah, I mean, I'm not upset with that feature in the Constellation either. It's just, you know, it's just with so many developers nowadays putting out games that don't work when they're launched, it's just another one of those things that it just doesn't work, you know, how it's supposed to, and it's being launched. That's just kind of my point with saying that, you know, it's just another one of those things, another triple a type game where something launched and it just isn't working i know they'll fix it but uh until then you know i'm still gonna have that opinion all right let's turn this down to you know just like when we go into those individual rooms it would be cool to be able like to interact with everything to zoom in and out to use the clipboards, you know, that are in there. But we can't. Hey, there's the airfield right there. Well, we didn't really go far at all. still turning or not oh I know it'll help us turn actually we can put engines no hang on a second before I do that which ones were which again Engines one. Oh, it is engines one and two. Okay, yeah. Let's make engines one and two slow, and that might help us push over to the uh, back towards the airport quicker. You know, if we have the, the two other engines going faster than the other two, then maybe that'll help turn us around. Sure is. There we go. I mean, I I like I like like being able to interact with a lot of this stuff. Like it's really cool. And there's no videos out there that are really showing anything like how to like like how to interact with stuff. I mean, like I think I'm like the first one to really do something where, at least from what I could find, like Red Wings doesn't even really have much. They just have like the basic takeoff, which is in their their PDF. Like, I think it would, like, me, like, I think it would be nice to have an English version where, like, all this is in English. Because, like, I kind of have an idea of what this is. Like, I understand this is a compass. I know this is our speed. You know, here's our heading down here. Like, I understand a fair amount of what's in here, but I think it would be cool to have an English version, too, just, you know. Just to have, I mean, it would be nice.
All right, let's zero this back out again. And let's put numbers three and four on slow. And then we'll go back to the airfield and as best we can and try to try to land this bird. All right, let's put uh, rudder man back on AI. And we want to be going southwest. Well, let's see if we can get him to do that. Actually, let's just go... Uh, which way do we need to go? Uh, yeah, this is correct. Yeah, more southwest. Let's see if he'll turn. And then when we get, I guess, over the airfield, we'll start... We'll start our... Uh, you know, procedure to kind of slow down. But it looks like he's turning now. No, actually, let's con. We need the chief radio guy to contact. For descent. This rudder man ain't doing shit, man. Let's turn him back off. All right, good. Now we're turning back the other way again. Maybe I didn't really have him following following a course last night. Maybe it just happened to be that's the way the wind was blowing us. Landing's okay. Let's see if I can get him to turn a little bit. Yep, see that's turning him a little bit.
All right, we need to get down to about 300 feet. So I don't really know how many meters that is. Probably around 100 meters, I guess. All right, let's reduce some gas in order to get down an altitude. Wow, that really dropped you quick, Jesus Christ. Shouldn't be using that emergency, but man, I didn't realize, I didn't think we were gonna go down that fast. Is that the airport? Oh, Jesus. All right, let's slow down a bit. Just, just a little bit of ballast again. I mean, you really shouldn't be using those emergency ones, but I needed to. That looks pretty good. I don't even have photogrammetry turned on either. That's uh, pretty good buildings. Pretty good buildings. Now, this is going to be my first time trying to land this thing, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not making excuses, I'm just saying, like, we're way past the restart phase, but let's see what happens. I know what to do, I just, I've never done an actual, I've never done the actual procedure, but I know what to do. I'm looking right, I'm looking right at it in the manual. But so far, my review on this so far is buy it, buy it, buy it. Red Wing will fix their shit eventually. Yes, it's not perfect. It's very confusing at first, but this is the only aircraft like this in the simulator, and it is a fuck ton to fly. I love flying this thing. It's cool. There's a lot of stuff you gotta keep on doing. Like, it's not just getting in an airplane, putting on the autopilot, and just going. You need to continually look at the, the ballast, the speed, the engines. I'm not sure why the map didn't work. According to what I was reading, I mean, you sh we should have clicked on that black pen and it should have marked our location on the map and then we could have planned out a, a route from there, but it didn't work. Yeah, I think Red Wing and uh, Microsoft would be a good partnership for sure. Yeah, absolutely.
All right, let's slow down a bit. Let's try to change our direction again if we can. All right, there we go. We're changing directions again. That's good. Now it says we should be reduced into about 200 feet around now, but I mean, I guess we could. trying to change directions again, but man, it's just... All right, let's see if that does it. I guess I'll just use the engines to direct since this uh, doesn't seem to be completely working. All right, let's release just a touch of gas. <laughs> let's release a little bit of gas. Oh, that's not what you should have been doing. All right, let's reduce you. Oops, wrong way. So I don't know if it's really the engines doing this or if it's me actually like turning that's doing this. So I think it's more the engines than anything else. All right, we are descending a bit. Let's speed up engine four a bit, get us push over a little bit. Like, I'm wondering if that's what they did in, in real life with this thing. Like, they just had the engines. Now, there had to have been rudder used. One thing I would like them to do, the developers, if, if you guys are watching this at some point, which maybe you will, if you could make it to where we could bind certain key, if you could put out a keyboard thing just for the Hindenburg, like, just have a set of, like, where we could go up, and like the hint, like when we do the Dune, the Dune expansion, for example, right? The Dune expansion has its own control setup. Like if you could somehow, we could do that for the Hindenburg, that would be excellent. All 
All right, we're still slowly descending. Let's just reduce a little bit more gas. Airfield is coming into play a bit. Let's move you up to slow. You down to idle. We are getting there slowly but surely. Surely you can't be serious. I'm always serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Great line from that movie Airplane. You yeah, haven't seen that movie Airplane. I think it came out in like 1978. It's one of the greatest comedies of all time. All right, we're almost, I don't really care where we land, by the way, at the airport. Like, we could use the whole airport for all I care. Might be a good idea to ask the crew to get to their landing stations. Prepare for landing. Roger, all crew to landing station. Ready to land. Ready to land. Should be getting to about 15 knots. Let's just run on two engines right now, see if we can get down to about 15 knots. Well, actually, about 10 knots is where we should be.
All right, so far so good. Let's put back on 3D. I just want to push a little bit to the left a little bit. Keep on playing with these engines until we get over the airport, kind of dead center. Well, there's a training mode for this balloon, but it doesn't work right now because uh, Red Wing hasn't, it, they just haven't gotten it to work for Xbox yet. But no, there's a whole training section. Uh, when we land, I'll show you. It's in career mode. But uh, it doesn't work yet. Like, they have missions and all kinds of stuff that we should be able to do at some point. It's just, it's not working just yet. Like I said, I just, I just talked to them today about this. Like, literally like two hours ago. Three hours ago, something like that. Let's continue to turn. Turn us a little bit more. Yeah, I would have loved to, you know, like maybe done one of the training missions today instead of just flying, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Let's turn those to idle. Let's push these to slow a little bit so we can turn a bit more again. I guess I can put the rudder man back on autopilot too. Let's go back here. Let's put him back on AI. Since we're not really using him anymore. Oh, and we need this page as well. All right, let's push a little bit to the other side again. We're almost ready to, to stop. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll show you the career mode when we uh, when we land. I'm very close to like stopping. I just want to get like out of the trees completely. 
and we're going slow enough to where I can like drop the lines and start descending and all that. All right, let's reduce. Now, uh, let me keep on going until I'm kind of centered up. Not centered up like left to right, like centered up like actually in here. I don't want to be in the tree line. Alright, that's good. So let's go ahead and reduce our altitude to about 150 feet. We can turn off the echo lot. We don't really need that anymore. And let's start dropping some ballot, some gas. get down to about 150 feet and then we can drop down some uh, some ropes drops and wings Roger copy 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 drop the front cold cable Roger Secure the front code. Roger. Oh, we gotta lower the uh, landing gear. Forgot about that. Grab the rear ropes. Roger. Drop the front code cable. All right, very good. Now the engine should be stopped. All right, let's go ahead and bring up our store page. Release the stairs. And release the people. Proceed with onboarding, please. Roger, starting onboarding. Very good. All right, so we have this career page here, right? Training. Unboarding finished, so. See, the missions are only pre premium version only. Hang on, let's uh, let's finish this up and then we'll look at that. I don't see any maintenance due. Oh, 
know, we don't need any maintenance. Everything's okay. All right, now we can turn everything off. Full stop, Full please. Stop, please. All right, so here in career mode, right? Medals, managing crew experience, achievements, rewards, right? Premium version only. Premium version has not been released yet. The missions are not available yet. Training, I didn't realize that the uh, Zeppelin will spawn at Freischaffen, Lowenthal, Cold Start. Let's see if we click yes, see what happens. Oh, look at that. It does. Well, I stand corrected. I, I didn't realize the training actually worked. Well, anyways. We should have a nose cone here. Wait a minute. Something funky's going on. It's like we're in the, um, what's that world called from, uh, uh, what was that show on Netflix? Uh, Stranger Things, like we're in the, uh, the netherworld or whatever that place is called. Look, man, it, <laughs> somebody sunk our Zeppelin. There we go. Okay, now it's loaded. Yeah, I did not realize that they had this. Well, good. So there is training. Maybe we'll do that next time. But yeah, anything uh, premium-wise will be available. It's just not available yet. Um, they don't know when it's going to be available. They didn't say, but... You know, like, I would like to be able like, to go to the checklist and, like, actually, like, click on the checklist and have it like run through it like it does in the constellation. But, uh, you know, I get that'll come one day. I'm sure they're usually good about their stuff, but my overall, uh, I like this a lot, <laughs> a, a lot. And, uh, I think it's going to be a very good thing as time goes on and they, and they work with it and maybe they're not going to make any changes until the new simulator comes out. Maybe not. I don't know. But when they do make these changes, uh, this thing is going to be a showstopper, I think. This thing is so much fun to fly. The voices are great. The sounds are really good. Um, the way you can interact with everything. I mean, it's it's got a lot of promise and a lot of potential. And if you're on the fence about getting it, I would say do it. Uh, you're going to have a lot more fun with it than without it. But if you get used to flying it now with... The feature's not working 100%. When you do, when they do finally release the patches for this and the fix for it, uh, it you're gonna you're gonna really see a big difference, I think, with your enjoyment level. At least for me, I know I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more once they fix some of these things. But uh, that's about it. I will probably be back tonight. Might not be a flight simulator video. It might be maybe Planet Coaster or Red Dead 2. I don't know. We'll see. Saturday night. Maybe, maybe we'll do something fun. But that's about it. I gotta go. I gotta go over my uh, cousin's house for a bit. And uh, I will see y'all next time on the airplane show. So uh, if I had to give this thing uh, like a like a one out of, you know, like a something out of ten, I think it's a very good seven right now. Alright, my dude. I will check you out on the next episode. So... That's about it, man. I will see y'all good people later over to beautiful skies of Mother Earth. Please subscribe. Please click that like button. And uh, I think that'll 